salute me, man. G.I.G. Right here at the Johnny Rax video shoot right here. This is your boy Reflector. I got Lisa Peasy Prasad coming up right here in the street. What's up, senorita? How's it going? We got Meg, go we're doing an interview today with Johnny Rocks and my journalist as well. Okay, bring it, it in, bring it in, bring it in. www.industry-mag.com. You heard, in the street. Check it out, your boy Joel, aka Joe Weezy. I want the big homie Johnny Rocks right yeah, here. Yeah, you know what it is. AKA the bully, GIG. You know what I'm saying? Just pop it, sir. He's here, man. We're working on the, phone, the video shoot right now, you know what I mean? For Jump On featuring August, produced by T Nice in August. And, uh, yeah, man. Shoot, shoot. I'm here. Okay. I've got some questions for you, you know what I'm saying? What's up? It's a big day. Okay. Some people might hear you over the airwaves, they might hear you on the radio. Yeah. Who is Johnny Rock? You tell me. Johnny Rocks, can I, can I cuss? Am I allowed to cuss? You allowed to cuss. Johnny Rocks is the dude that will tell you to fuck off when nobody else will tell you to fuck off. Psych. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I'm straight up, I say whatever comes out of my mouth. I guess to sum it up, it's just real. You know what I mean? It's, it's, really, it's really real. Whatever you're thinking, I'll do it. Because you won't do it because you're scared to. You know what I mean? Okay. That's Johnny Rocks. Johnny Rocks is just being about himself, being about whatever is on his mind, you know? Do you, homie? All right. Why do they call you the bully? Yo, honestly, really and truly, that, that name came about like two years ago. And it was a long stretch of my life where I was going everywhere and beating people up. Yeah, it, it just, it, it, yeah, it got bad, you know what I mean? Okay. So my nigga was just like, yo, you're a bully. <laughs> and that's where it stuck, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Actually, yo, Era's here right now. And he's the motherfucking nigga who gave me the name. Okay, okay. Being as big as you are, what are some of your musical aspirations and what inspired you to be an artist? Inspired me to be an artist. I would say my family. I mean, I've been I've been really doing music for a long time with my family. Um, my dad was heavy into music. My uncles are heavy into music. So from being young and seeing them doing their music oh, back in Montreal, it was it was something I always wanted to do. And and I got into to the, to the music scene down here and. Kind of just kept it going, kept grinding and just recording and doing what I do. For sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so people here at GIG, what is GIG? What does it stand for? GIG stands for Get It Gang or Get It Group. For, you know what I mean? For the people who don't want it to be that bad. Okay. Um, it's just it's just about people who go after what they want. You know what I mean? For sure. Just get it. Go whatever get it, it is, being success, being money, being ladies, whatever you want to call it, just go get it and go after it. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's what, that's what my squad is about, is just getting it. You know what I mean? It, a lot of people say get money gang or get whatever. You know what I mean? We get it, everything. Get it yourself, okay. Alright, so who's in this get, get a group? Yo, well, well, GIG on the music side consists of myself, T Nice. We have SP, Sunset um, Productions, who does a lot of the video stuff. Um, we got my homie Jaws, Main Man Entertainment, who's um, my manager. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, a lot of people. We got LPZ, okay. who's my publicist. We got um, the first lady, Kim Davis. I said it. We got <laughs> D Huds, we got yeah. so on and so on. Yeah, man. So it's a lot a lot of people involved sure. in it. You know what I mean? On the music side and on another side that, you know what I mean? Y'all know who y'all are. Most definitely. Speaking of Kim Davis, I know you did a lot of collaborative work with Kim Davis. Of course, and yes, I Also, have. August, Jump On. Yeah. So, how was it like working with these artists? Um, I mean, the, the two artists you listed are very talented people, so I mean, working with working with Kim Davis is easy. Working with August is easy. When when you could throw out ideas and somebody can see your vision right away, and it's like boom, it just kind of clicks. You know what I mean? True, true. So it's easy to work with people like them. It's easy to, easy to work with people like like anyone who, who's really talented in the music game and knows what they're doing. It's easy to work with them. So I'm happy to be able to be in that circle. Most definitely. Okay, seeing that there's a big, huge uh, boom of Canadian slash Toronto rappers, mm. what do you have to say about that? I mean, I think I think everybody who can go to Langy McQuaid and purchase a mic feels like they're a rapper, and it's it's a very different thing trying to be an artist and, and formulating songs and having a marketing plan and and really really going after this. You know what I mean? It's easy to record. You can book studio time tomorrow and record a song, but like that don't mean that you're on. And then I, then you get people who are always like. Yo, how do you do what you did, or how did you get to where you got to? And not that I'm anywhere big right now, but I'm sure. on my on my way. Yeah. But it's a situation where 
you gotta go after it, you know what I mean? A lot of dudes just wanna record and be like, yo, I'm not getting the buzz or I'm not getting the, su the support. You gotta go and get that. You gotta go send emails out. You gotta make connections, make make those network and make those um relationships, you know what I mean? Okay. So uh, all, the, all the rappers that are coming up in the city, I mean, I feel like before you can really say you're, you're a rapper or you're a musician or you're in the art, you need to really perfect that before you, you know what I mean? You say you are. Make that make that your full time job, man. Don't don't work at Foot Locker and, and rap too. You know what I mean? Totally, totally. So like, um, who who do you really rate in Toronto? I mean, I, I rate any, I rate anybody in my city who's doing anything positive. You know what I'm saying? So the name of your names on the music and the, the rappers I respect. I respect JDR. I respect Set Two. I respect Jake's Krills. I respect all these guys. You know what I mean? All these guys who are doing it and doing their thing. I respect on the R&B side. There's O. There's August. There's Kim Davis. There's, you know what I mean? Like the list goes on. Like you know what I mean? I, I respect Tona. All these cats. And and it's like the city right now is is all about unity. And a lot of the cats are starting to get together and make more music together and try and make a push. And that's what I like, you know what I mean? So I'm happy about it. So what do you think about the Canadian hip-hop side, the business? What do you think about the business side of it? It sucks. It sucks? Yeah, it fucking sucks. Everybody's business in Canada is kind of twisted upside down. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, When it comes to, to, um, to promoting shows or whatever the case is, promoters don't want to pay you what they would pay an American artist, but we can leave here. And I'll tell you, because I know some artists as myself, if we leave here, when we go out of out of country, we get the money we deserve. You know what I'm saying? So it's a situation where we need to, as an industry, start looking out for each other, and that's the only way we're going to fucking make it. Most definitely. Okay, to almost wrap this up, uh, where does Johnny Rock see himself in the next five years, five to ten years? Richer than you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying now, nah, but that's some real shit, man. Like, in the next five years, my five-year plan is just to be able to bang out my music, get as many people across the world to listen to me, hear me, get my message out, and just market myself. You know what I mean? Pimp myself to make money for myself. Most yeah. definitely. So you said, you, you said get it. You want to get it and go. Get so everything. Where do you Where do you want to go? Like, who do you want to work with internationally? Internationally, um, I think one of the first people I would love to work with on the production end is somebody like Dr. Dre. Um, I would love to also collab with a rapper, 50 Cent would be my first person I want to collab with. And that's just because I, I think he's a smart man, you know what I mean? Like all the moves that he's made have been smart thus far, and, and I, I see that, you know what I mean? Um, anybody, anybody, man, anybody who's doing their thing, like right now Trey Songz is hot, I'd I, I, I bump a record with that dude. Anybody that's in the game, you know what I mean? Most definitely. And that's, that's my goal, so y'all gonna see me. Okay, you know we had the video shoot for Jump On. If if these people don't know how the video comes out, you want to give them a little a little intro of how it's gonna come out. The intro, the video is gonna be crazy. It's good. You know what I mean? We worked it out. We're here in Frequency Nightclub, Fresh Out the Ground. We linked it. Sunny D on Patience Entertainment, who really helped me out to get this shit done. And um, yeah, it's gonna be hot. You know what I mean? So check, look out for it, man. We're going to have it on the internet. We're going to have it on much. We're going to have it on TV. We're going to have it across the world. It's going to be on iTunes. You can buy the video. Yeah, I remember I said it. Buy the video. And all you artists who hear me say that and are like, how do you put your video on iTunes? <laughs> Fucking research, guys. All right. <laughs> Any shout outs? <laughs> Fast shout out to everybody, yo. G.I.G. My squizard. Fast shout out to Kim Davis. LPZ. Sunset. T. Nice. Everybody, man. All right. Industry, Industry Mag. Mag, of course. How could I fucking <laughs> Fresh out to Industry Mag, the hottest mag out now everywhere. I'm not even going to say Canada. I'm going to say everywhere. Well, step you heard it here first, the bully, baby. I risk that. Is that right? The bully, Johnny Rocks in the building. Jump on, video shoot. Gotcha.